this video tutorial, I will show you how to use our sky overlays. So we're going to get started adding um, some of our sunset skies to this photo. So let's come up under File, choose Place Embedded, and let's start with sunset sky number one. Now I like using the place command because what it does is it fills up your screen here, um, but it also gives you a bounding box so that you can um, transform this. Don't worry about it being proportional because it's a sky, so you can sort of get away with it. So what I like to do is just kind of bring it down to your, to your horizon line right about there. I'm going to hit enter on the keyboard and let that take effect. Um, next thing we're going to do is add a layer mask. Okay, so we'll click into the layer mask and you can tell we have that selected because it's got the four corners around it. Then we're going to grab, grab our gradient tool. And with our gradient tool, we want to paint um, with black because we want to erase this hard line here. We want to give it a nice smooth gradient. So we want to paint with black in our mask layer, but we want to ramp it to nothing, which means we want it, um, we want it to show fully up here and we want to fade it here. So um, black, our foreground color, is chosen. And if you come up to gradient, you will want to make sure that you're choosing foreground to transparent. And you'll see that because it has the little check the box there. Okay, so now we will just click and drag. So I'm going to start right at sort of the bottom of this. And I'm just going to drag up a little bit. And you can see how it started to fade. We've still got a little bit of a line there. So I'm just going to try maybe once more. So the goal there is to sort of get rid of that line. And I think that works pretty good. Um, next, let's zoom in on their faces because you can see that we didn't get it off their faces completely. So I'm going to come and grab a soft round brush. And we're still painting in the layer mask and we're painting with black because we want to remove this sky from their faces. So let's make our brush a little bit bigger. And let's bring the opacity um, down. Let's, let's do it at like 80. And let's just start painting the sky off their faces. And this will be subtle, very subtle. And just a little off of hers. Okay, we'll zoom back out. And that looks pretty decent right there. Um, so now we have the sky that we've, um, the overlay we've put on there. Um, next thing I'd like to do is put, um, a color, a sunlight overlay on that. So let's come back to um, File, Place, Place Embedded, and you'll find a sunlight overlay in your in this set. So um, this sunlight, I want to really be reflected on the ground here. Um, so let's move this down. There we go, grab the top there. And the sunlight we're going to want sort of down here, sort of bouncing off the grass, make it a little bit bigger. We'll just get over this way. Then we'll hit enter on our keyboard. Um, and then what I like to do is to sort of pick up a color um, from the sky and we'll fill it, um, we'll fill the sunlight layer with that. So let's right click on the sunlight layer um, and rasterize it first. Um, and then what we want to do is come up here and lock the transparent pixels. That's going to allow us to um, change the color of this. Uh, and keep the transparency in the background. So if I grab my eyedropper tool now, uh, let's pick maybe this orange up here in the sky. And we're going to, we have the sunlight layer um, chosen, and we're going to fill it, edit fill, and we're going to fill it with our foreground color. And you can see it's got that nice sort of a peach tone to it. Now let's go ahead and set that layer mode to overlay. You might try different layer modes. I think this one will work pretty well. And it's a little strong, so maybe we'll try to bring the percentage down to about 50%. And now you can grab your move tool and you can sort of move that around anywhere you want. You can um, also retransform it, make it bigger or smaller. But you can see how now it's picking up the um, colors of the sky and it's sort of casting it down here onto the, the wheat field. Um, one more thing that I'd like to point out 
before we wrap up this tutorial. Um, let's say I I liked this sky, but maybe I wanted to see what another one of the skies looks like um, in this composition. Let's come down here. Um, I, I just chose my sunset sky overlay again. Let's go to place embedded and let's try picking up our sky number two. We're going to do the same thing. We're just going to put it in place. We're going to size it. Hit enter on our keyboard. Okay. Um, and now, instead of having to go through and uh, create another layer mask, if we hold down, if we come down and choose this layer mask and hold down our Alt key and drag it up to our second sky overlay, it will mimic that layer mask for us. We won't have to go through and do it again. So if I want to, I'd turn off the bottom layer and then we can see, you know, what a second sky looks like. Um, and the very last thing I want to mention about this, um, you'll see when you add a layer mask, you sort of get a link in between the layers. Um, basically what that's doing is it's linking your um, image with the layer mask. I'm looking at this sky and I'm thinking, you know, I'd kind of like to drag that down a little bit more. But if I were to transform that right now, it's also going to transform the layer mask. What I'd like to do is unlink these layers and I only want to affect one of them. So I want to change this. So I'm going to hit um, Control T to transform and I'm just going to drag it down and you can see that it's only affecting the sky layer and the layer mask it's leaving intact over here. And then at this point um, with any of your layers you can uh, if you wanted to change the opacity let's say maybe we bring it down to about 75 percent um, there's all sorts of options you can do to get the, um, the effect that you're looking for.